Hello and welcome back to Call of the Wild. So today we're going to be taking out the 45 caliber Big Boar Air Rifle and search for some white tail and possibly some black tail. Now we actually have right here a tripod set up on a white tail need zone. It's going to be uh, about 100 yards away. Maybe 80 if we're lucky. So we're going to hop up in this tripod here and see if anything comes in. Alright guys, so I just caught movement of something coming through right here. Right there. Got a doe. Another doe. And that is a nice buck. He's about 120 yards out and it looks like he's going to stop right there. Okay. Now, he is in range, but barely. I would take up to 100 on this thing. 120 is uh, just a touch too far. All right. Looks like we have some movement here. That is a different buck in the back. That's a really cool looking rack right there, actually. But where's the buck that we're after? Is that him there? No, it's a doe. All right, there he is. He just stepped out. He's 80 yards out right there. Pretty broadside. But there's a little bit of brush covering him up right there. I don't feel comfortable with this angle. We'll have to get him to step out a little bit more. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, so we have a really cool buck right next to us here. The wind is really bad. And I kind of want to get this buck as well. So I feel like the other buck might come back. So if we can get a shot on this buck here. A nice clear broadside shot. We're going to take it. Oh, we took it. And that is smoked. First buck down with the air rifle. Oh, are there bucks just standing there? Oh, man. We could have taken it. We could have had a double. He's down, though. So overall, pretty success. And these bucks should come back. Oh, that was awesome. I love hunting with this thing. I tell you what, I was so wrong about this air rifle. I actually said that I've never hunted with the big boy air rifle before. So I don't really know what the purpose of it is. But I tell you what, I love hunting with this thing now okay there's our buck he's actually stopped out there at about 150 too far for a shot but we'll get him to come back all right here he comes he's just stepping out about 60 yards away right next to our other buck right there so he's definitely in range let's get ready on him we could have taken a shot if we were ready but we should be good oh perfect oh Hit him, I think, a little bit too far forward. We might have hit the front shoulder on that. Well, either way, it definitely should take him down. So it was a solid hit. It's just, I think we were a little bit too far forward. We'll find out here in just a second. All right, so just so you can see here, this is where we have our tripod set up right here, and the deer were right there, about 50, 55 yards out. Now, the thing is, the wind's not perfect here, but it's not bad. So, yeah, that is a vital hit. I think we just didn't get double lung because of the angle that he was at, and maybe because he was 50 yards, and maybe it actually was a really good shot. I mean, I know it wasn't a bad shot, but it wasn't an absolute perfect shot. This here was a double lung shot at 38 yards out that was a perfect shot right behind the front shoulder ended up getting a gold out of that that's a really cool looking rack as well 170 on the trophy rating 170.5 take a look at the true score on this guy this buck here is so cool i've seen bucks like this in real life never gotten any but my brother's actually gotten two bucks that look very similar to this kind of like a basket rack but a really thick mature one so we did get vital hit on this one like i just said but I think that maybe because he was 50 yards, maybe 60 yards out that we just didn't get some more blood here. As you can see, I don't like to use tracks because it kind of takes the realism out of hunting. I would have thought he ran this way, but... That's because he did run this way. <laughs> Alright, so he actually went up over on this ridge here where a lot of times the elk try and cut across here. But here he is down right here. Let's take a look. Right lung shot at 54 yards out, and yeah, I think we we're just a touch too far forward. He was slightly quartering. It was a solid shot, but I think we might have clipped the edge of the muscle on the front shoulder there, and I think that might have slowed it down. But then again, at 54 yards, I don't really know if you could get a double lung shot with this air rifle. So overall, that's a 
perfect shot. I mean, ended up with a trophy rating of 225.4 on him. Take a look at the true score. Really cool looking buck as well. But yeah, overall, it was a really good shot. I uh, have been thinking about it for a little while, and I think that I think that that's pretty much the best shot we could have made at that distance. I mean, we centered the lung, so can't complain about that at all. Let's head on over to the next spot and see if we can't find some more bucks. So we're actually headed to our next stand, and we spotted a couple of nice blacktail over here. So we decided to set up a tripod right here, and we actually have a black bear coming in as well. It's a female. I don't really know. Okay, so there's one of the bucks there. I don't even see the buck. What are we spotting? Oh, there it is. Got a doe there. Is there another black bear coming in? Two black bear coming in. Okay, just because I want to see if we can get a vital hit at 60 yards out, and I don't think our buck is going to spook, I really want to take a shot if she slows down. Definitely not taking a trotting shot, but if she slows down a little bit. It looked pretty solid. I don't know if we got it, but... Give me a spotting. Oh, I can't get a spotting. Okay. Our buck's still coming in. So that's good. We're going to have to mark where we shot at that black bear. I don't think we ended up getting penetration. I think we hit the shoulder blade. And if that's the case, it's definitely not going to take it down. So we're going to be all right there. Is that a white tail? It is a white tail. All right, guys. Well, it actually looks like our black bear did go down. Because if you look right here, do you see this kind of dark shaded circle? That means we got a vital hit on that black bear. Now, I spotted it right here, and this is where I marked it. But we have to go and track it because we got him. Okay, so he stopped at 93 right there. That's pretty close to 100. Not quite, but pretty close. Come on, turn. We have to hold low for sure. He's not quite a hundred out, but come on. Oh, I look good. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Okay. So that's about pretty much as far as you really want to take a shot. I'd say that was a 93 yard shot. Oh, here we go. Perfect. We got another buck coming in here. He's exactly 98 yards out. That's where I want him to be. Did we get it? We got it. Okay. All right. Let's uh, hop down. We have two bucks down and a bear. So, man, I wish we had some more markers here to keep track of what we have going on. Uh, two bucks. They both ran off that way and the bear. He's down right there. So we'll just grab him. And this is actually the first one, I believe. So he should be 93 yards out. 87 yards out right to the front shoulder ended up with a 64 percent so the shoulder definitely slowed it down a little bit but that's not bad 64 percent at 87 yards out left lung now the second one is the one i'm more interested in it should be should be close to 100 yards and there he is down right there okay perfect so both bucks are down now we just got to go find the black bear and when we when we track him who are definitely going to put the tracks on but let's see, did we break 199 yards? I mean, that's about as close to 100 yards as you can really get. But 65% on that, not bad right lung shot at 99 yards on this buck. Well, I guess we don't really have to turn the tracks on because the bear is literally 50 yards away from us right here. He was laying right next to where the buck was. So let's take a look and see how we did on her. We did get a right lung shot at 59 yards, and that was a perfect shot, actually. Very nice. 0% on the quick kill, obviously, because, I mean, it's a bear. But, yeah, right lung shot at 59 yards out. That's pretty promising. So, I hear something coming. Oh, my God. Don't move. Holy! <sighs> I was actually just going to show you. Yeah, that'll work out good. It'll give this uh, bear plenty of time to bed down. Let me show you where we just were and we took down. Uh, that was a bad idea because we just ruined the hunting pressure here, but that's all right. So we're over here by Runichi and we have our tripod set up right here. Right at this mark. And here's our bear. She only ran maybe like 60, 70 yards. Whoa. We got quick kill. 67%. We ended up getting a left lung and liver shot. 
on this black bear 23 yards out. So that's why she only ran like 60 yards because we ended up getting a pretty decent amount on the quick kill there. Not bad, 23 yards out. So we're just heading over to our next spot here and we just spotted a couple really nice bucks out here. They're all white tail, but the problem is this need zone is going to end in like an hour. So we got to hurry up and get over there, get set up. All right, so here's what we're going to do. The wind's actually blowing right directly this way. So what we're going to do is work our way all the way around, kind of horseshoe back and get set up like right here. The bucks are going to be like somewhere around this area here. We might be able to get to this stand, but I feel like if we can get in range right here within about 50, we'll be good. Okay, so we just got in. I'm really hoping they're not going back. They are. There's our buck right there too. Look at that. Massive buck. Man, I was really hoping we could pull him in. How far is he? He's only 113? He doesn't want to come in? It's a real good buck. Yeah, we are definitely not going to pass up this buck. Perfect shot. Can I get a percentage on him? I guess we don't need to because he's down right there. Is that our big buck? It's him. It's him. He doesn't know anything happened. Just calm down. Okay, he's within 50. He is definitely within range. Just gotta wait for him to turn broadside and to get out from underneath this tree. Come on. Oh, if you would just stop. Got him. Just smoked a monster buck with the air rifle. And he's down right there. Perfect. All right, so we actually have two bucks down here. Let's hop down and go take a look. And here's a first one. Double lung shot. He is a gold as well. Very cool. 29 yards out. Not bad. Ended up with an 809 and a 184 for the trophy rating. This guy has a really cool rack. I love these racks. And here is our big buck. Take a look at him. Really, really nice buck. You can see we hit right behind the front shoulder. Really nice shot. Let's see how we did. Ended up with an 848 double lung shot at 33 yards out. 100% and a trophy rating of 215. So yeah, if you're using this air rifle, you can get 100% out to 50 yards pretty consistently. But remember, you can also get a vital hit out to 100 yards as well. You're not gonna get 100% on the quick kill, but you can still take down a nice buck. And yeah, we should probably get him mounted. First good buck with the air rifle. So yeah, double lung shot, let's get him mounted. All right, let's head back to the trophy lodge. But first, let me show you where we just got those nice bucks. We're over here by Mushroom Lake. We have a white tail need zone right here from 15 until 21. We have a tree stand set up right here. And actually this is where we spotted them here at 1230 till 1530. All right, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And this is our Harlequin duck that we actually took out of the air with a bow from the tripod stand in yesterday's video. So of course we had to get him mounted. And here's our buck from today, 848 scoring buck that we took with the air rifle. Made a really nice shot. And overall it was a pretty successful hunt. I had a lot of fun hunting with that, and I think I'm definitely going to continue on using it in the future. So, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, fine. I'll show you the mule deer again. Here he is. 1,000 scoring mule deer that we got with the bow. And there's our 1,000 whitetail. What I do want to show you, though, is all these racks here. So, a reason why we didn't get some of those mounted was because... See that buck right there? That looks similar to the one that we got today.